Hey everybody, my name is Sean and we're here to talk about some of the questions we've been getting about our newest product, the Trezor Safe 5. So question number one, what's new about your latest wallet, the Trezor Safe 5? With the Trezor Safe 5, we've created a device that's tailored to the active crypto user. The most obvious new features include a more vibrant color touchscreen, haptic feedback, and an updated, more modern design with Gorilla Glass that's across the face of the device. All of these things allow for greater ease of use compared to past models, which actually leads to the next question. How is the Trezor Safe 5 different from your last wallet, the Trezor Safe 3? The most obvious difference between the TS5 and the TS3 is the navigation via the color touchscreen versus physical buttons. The screen is now easier to use without the crowding caused by the casing of the Model T. Not everyone prefers touchscreens, however. The physical buttons on the TS3 mean our community doesn't have to be forced into a touchscreen device. Generally speaking though, the TS5 is faster, more convenient, and offers greater usability thanks to the haptic feedback, the touchscreen, and the newly implemented swipe gestures. Uh, we have another question. Isn't the Trezor Safe 5 similar to the Trezor Model T? Outside of the general shape of the device, no, not really. The TS5 carries over the NDA-free secure element that we introduced on the TS3, which wasn't present in the Trezor Model T, and serves as another improvement for our line of touchscreen devices. As I touched on earlier, the Trezor Safe 5 also has haptic feedback and richer colors in the display, along with new swipe interactions. The all-glass surface of the device makes it much easier to use compared to the Model T, where the screen is embedded inside the casing. To put it simply, it's an improved version of our previous hardware wallets that combines the best features while adding new ones. What happens with the Model T now? Is that still supported? Yes, of course. You can still use the Model T without any issues. It'll support all security updates in the future. So our next question is, what is the NDA-free secure element? The secure element is a physical part of the device that protects your wallet backup without actually learning the words themselves. The technicals of how this works requires a bit more depth than we'll get into this video, but you can learn more yourself on our website. The secure element also protects from physical attacks, like someone getting a hold of your device and trying to physically break it open to get the information inside. If this happens, the information inside is destroyed, keeping your backup information from falling into someone else's hands. The NDA free specification refers to the fact that we have no obligation to stay quiet about any issue concerning the secure element on our device. In the same spirit as our dedication to open source technology, if we discover any flaws physically, ethically, or otherwise, we're unrestricted in our freedom to speak out about the hardware. This is a good question too. I got the limited edition Bitcoin only TS3 last year. Now you're launching a permanent Bitcoin only TS3 and TS5. What's the difference? The limited edition Bitcoin only Trezor Safe 3 launched in 2023 to celebrate the 10 year anniversary of Trezor. From a functional standpoint, these devices operate in the same manner, meaning they exclusively send, hold and receive Bitcoin. The difference between them is that the limited edition devices each have a unique serial number across the 2013 units we produced, meaning that no two units from the production are the same. They also carry the infinity out of 21 million engraving on the back, and each is signed by Trezor's founders, Stick and Slush. None of the new devices will feature these details, which are specific to the line released in 2023. Lastly, 21 euros from each of the devices that we sold in 2023 was donated to our nonprofit organization, Trezor Academy, which is an initiative focused on providing free Bitcoin education in Africa. What's with the new 20 word wallet backup? Long story short, we figured out how to make wallet backups better. If you didn't already know, it was Satoshi Labs, which is Trezor's parent company, that invented the 12 and 24 word wallet backup, or as we originally called it, the recovery seed. The biggest difference the 20 word standard brings to the table is the compatibility with both single and multi-share backups. The 12 and 24 word backups were each single share only, meaning that a single list of 12 or 24 words were responsible for backing up entire hardware wallets. As you can imagine, this is a problem if the word list ever gets lost, destroyed, or found by someone you don't want accessing your holdings. Multi-share, as the name suggests, allows you to create multiple backups. In the case of our new 20 word standard, this means multiple lists of 20 words. It also lets you choose how many shares are necessary to recover your wallet. So you can do three out of five shares for recovery, or five out of 10, or seven out of 11, 
This way, if someone finds one, or if one gets lost, or one gets destroyed, your account isn't compromised. The total amount of shares and the amount required for recovery are up to you. Or you can just forget all of that and do single share. That's the beauty of the 20-word backup. And that's just the biggest difference. But there are also a number of design improvements to the 20-word standard, which include more distinct words, both in terms of spelling and pronunciation, which makes them less prone to error, misspelling, and confusion. The new words are optimized both for typing on traditional keyboards and T9 keyboards, and you can upgrade them from single share backup to the multi-share format. The next question is, so can I still use 12 or 20 word seeds, also known as BIP39, and recover them to all devices? Absolutely. We recommend adopting the 20 word backup because of the improvements, as well as the ability to upgrade that I mentioned before. But 12 and 24 word seeds will still be supported both for the creation and recovery of a backup. That's it for today's questions. Hopefully that clarifies some of the info around our new products.